Okay, today I want to talk a little bit about uh, using a flag and um, and drive. Um, there are a lot of opinions about flags and whips and stuff like that out there. Um, most of them kind of go between good to use, gives you extra length, and the other crowd, if we were to try to, if we were to split the two, uh, then it would be, um, you know, horses are afraid of them, you're using it as a weapon, or something like that. And um, I want to try to talk a little bit about the fact that something like this, when used, hopefully accurately, can be the equivalent of a horse's tail. And so when you use it, you know, you can get them acclimated to it, but when it's business time, it's a horse's... Hello, you're kind of on the wrong side. It's like a horse's tail. So if I said to him, I want you to come over this way, and he didn't listen, well, then I would just get active with my tail until he kind of did what I needed. And that's fantastic. So it's, it's kind of like the enforcer, <laughs> but we don't want to consider it such that it's um, to be used at first. So the idea is that I want you to go over here. I got the nose, I need the feet. So I'll give a little bit like that and that would be good. And the idea is that we use it so we can stop using it. Um, and being that we are humans and we're kind of short and we're kind of slow. Can you go back to the other side? See, I didn't give him a chance there because I was impatient. Um, I did both at the same time. I could have given him the chance to come over and then used it. And that's what I mean. Like those kinds of habits um, we want to try to break. And of course, everybody st I think everybody's still working on them. Um, and so there you saw something that uh, I'm actually trying to teach not to do. Anyhow, um, one, of our, um, one of our goals today is to work a little bit on drive. Um, because this guy leads a little slow and I'd like to, him to lead a little quicker. Rue's doing something, so you might have noticed him kind of go up a little. Rue's running around a little. I don't know what he's doing. Anyway, so what, what I want to do is I want to talk about and show what I'm thinking about to get him to draw better when leading. Because right now, if you've seen the video where we worked, uh, where we worked, where we went for a walk in the forest, um, he was kind of plodding along and you know, you kind of pull, but we don't want to have to pull our horses around. Um, it's not very effective. Usually they can tolerate it really well. If not, they actually just straight out stop because they have no interest in being pulled around. So we want to not pull, um, but we do want to draw and sometimes draw leading to, leads to a bit of pull, but we want to get away from the pull. So then we have to rely on drive. Uh, and this just gives us extra length. And in case anybody's wondering whether or not he's actually afraid of this thing, uh, he is concerned, but clearly not afraid. Um, it doesn't mean that I can't make him go, you know, like he's, or can't get him worried, I mean, sorry, it's not like I can't get him worried. Um, it's not the goal, so we definitely need to work on a little bit of acclimation um, and have him Settle down a little and just sort of stay still. My hand is very loose on this. I'm not holding him here. He is held here through the draw he has to be with me. Um, and he's got to have a think on this a little bit. Anyhow, it's a multi-use tool that I think is very valuable and can definitely help uh, beginners to intermediates to advanced allow a little length, allow a little energy, or nothing. 
right? You might just might just touch them. Say, can you stick with me a little? It would mean a lot. Thanks, man. You know. Good boy. Yeah. So, you know, no big deal. I could sort of wave the flies off of him or touch him. You know, he's a little worried, but he's not overly fearful. And that's what we don't want. We want concern, but not outright fear. Okay, so uh, I'm going to go a little distance here so you can see I can't really talk to you guys when I'm that far away. So maybe I'll narrate this or maybe I'll just come back and talk about it or, you know, we shall come here. Good. He's a good horsey. We're having a lot of fun together, lots of work. Um, and uh, I look forward to getting this one figured out. So we're going to see if we can't uh, do a solid walk um, and a trot. So a jog for me, a trot for him, right? I know you've got flies on you, flies, a little bit of flies today. Okay, so let's get going. We're gonna leave. So that's a start to what we want to do. And it takes practice to get right for me for timing, for him for timing. And the end goal is to get away from this and just really start moving. So he'll kind of time. <laughs> Go to my other side. Yeah, that's not bad. But you're a little close and snuggly. So, you know, he's not out of breath. 
I'm a little out of breath. So we're gonna practice that for a little bit, but I want to intro that. And I'm gonna go a little bit and then I'll start the camera up again and I'll let you know how many minutes has passed when I've done it. And uh, we'll see if there's a change, and there should be. Maybe I'll, uh, maybe I'll set a time limit. I'll work for 10 minutes uh, and, uh, and then I'll be back doing the same kind of method. But I also might use some vocal commands. So I'll cover that when I come back to it. Okay, it has been, come here. It has been uh, probably about 15 minutes, 10 minutes to do the job and five minutes to cool off because holy smokes, jogging around this arena is a chore. Um, you might notice I do not have the flag anymore. And that's what I want to talk about it is using the flag to get away from using the flag. And I haven't done anything different than what you've already seen. We've simply just been trying to jog. And I will encourage, as I've shown, with the flag to get a moving, a little less and a little less and a little less. So here we are to show off our progress in, in about 10 minutes, um, many laps, uh, which is good exercise for both of us. He's the only one not out of breath. He's got an amazing stamina, actually. I think any of the other horses, well, my pets here would be kind of out of, maybe not Gracie. Everybody else would be sort of huffing and puffing. So anyways, um, we're going to start off and you guys can watch what I'm doing. I might use the rope, but um, I haven't had to other than maybe one time, every other time he's just kind of come along. The idea is that I'm going to give him clues, see if you can spot them uh, as I start to pick up my energy, pick up my feet more, and he will come follow along. So now I'm using draw to get uh, what I want. So ready to go, pal? Come on. You're on the wrong side. So that's how that's how you do it. Get your horse to pick up with you, or one way to do it, not the only way. And as you can see, <laughs> I'm out of breath. This guy has no problem with this. So fancy that. Anyhow, I hope that's helpful. I hope that assists anybody in understanding uh, the value of using a tool that gives you a little more length, a little more energy. Not really, too, not really too much different than what horses do with each other when it comes to shaking their tail or snaking their their head or their neck or using their feet or teeth to get something done. But we want to get away from it so that we're using draw. So when I go to leave, he's on it. Anyhow, so that's our demonstration for the day. It's one of those little gaps that I left in there. Should have dealt with a long time ago. So we're going to keep working on that. Obviously the trailer stuff will be out and about on trails and hopefully pretty soon we'll be riding. I can generally come back here and he looks at me, but he doesn't raise his head. I can touch him with lots of contact points. There's a leg as well. My hand, my arm. Anyways, lots to talk about. Good boy. Lots to talk about.
with this guy. Lots of work being done. Apologize for not having enough time to take enough video and things that I'm working on, but you'll see all, all the results as we go. Okay, that's it for now. I'll see you guys in the next one. Any questions, comments? Check them below as always. I'll do my best to answer.